Hey, sinners! Welcome to Sin Foods. I always forget what it's called sometimes. I keep wanting to say Sin Play. Today we're going to be replacing a breaker. Quick, quick little story. I've never replaced a breaker before. I fixed computers, but I've never replaced a breaker before. Um, is we moved into the house a couple weeks ago, and the inspector found some breakers that had uh, tripped. They were no good anymore. The fuse had blown in them or whatever, and. Um, he recommended an electrician come out and fix it. So the sellers paid for that and they came out and they've replaced the breakers and it was great for a couple weeks. Um, and then I noticed I didn't have any power outside. And when I went in, I was going to actually flip the breakers for the ones that controlled the outside to see if that would fix it. Um, I noticed the AC breaker was off when it had been on before. Um, and I turned it back on and then I turned the outside stuff on and off, including the living room area because it's on one breaker. And now... The, it broke the living room breaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the AC off. I went and bought a new... Is it in my pocket? No, it's out there. We'll see it in a second. I bought a new breaker. I'm going to install it. It's a 15 amp breaker. Uh, I watched some videos and read some things. I'm obviously going to turn off all the power. And hopefully this will not be a video of my death. Probably not. No, that's, that's morbid. It's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Um, so right now all the power is off. I turned the main breaker off already. I've got the panel off. I've got my neighbors are gonna think I'm crazy because they're gonna be like, what is she doing? I've got a little tripod. It's probably gonna be a really annoying angle to watch this at. So I've already removed the panel. Um, this is the breaker. Well, it goes to the family room that's bad. See, it goes to the middle. Even if you put it to the on position, it still pops back. I do have it currently in the off position. I'm sure these are still live. Um, this should not be live. I'm not going to go licking it or anything. So I'm going to remove this breaker and install this breaker. Mm, I am kind of terrified right now. So let's go ahead and... I don't know if you just pull it out. I didn't read that far. Okay, there we go. So we have a live wire. I do have an electrician scheduled for Friday to come in and look at all this. So, nothing's burnt, I guess. These should be the same unit by the same people. Uh, the names did change. So this is an E10. Same type. Same voltage, same amperage, same poles. Um, yeah, this is Cutter Hammer and this is E10 or Simmons. They, the brand name changed. So this is the new one. I'm going to install this one. This one definitely doesn't look like a new one. I mean, if this is the one they replaced, I don't think this is the one that they replaced this because this looks exactly the same as the other ones. It's really, really dusty. I don't know if they even replaced it, the people that came out. Because it was these two that were bad. Or maybe it was these two. Hmm, I don't know. So ideally, this goes into here. I'm so scared. Oh god, that was kind of scary. Okay. I need to be even while installing it. Okay, I think I gotta go the other way first. Oh yeah, there's a there's a little there's a little um, latch. Just like when you're putting a laptop battery in, you gotta go one direction, not the other. So this should pop right in now. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna tighten the screw. Okay. Um, theoretically, I just did this right, so um, not sure. Oh, okay, uh, let's look. So again, it's currently off. Um, that looks proper. It looks the same as all the others. The wire is touching the screw, which I believe it's supposed to. I hope. This is off. This is in the right way. Again, the other ones I just removed looked exactly the same. I don't think they actually changed out the right breakers. If that wouldn't make sense, it still wouldn't work. Um, I know I can just turn it on. I really want to put the front on it. Okay, let's go ahead and just turn this on. 
and then I'll turn it all back off when I put the thing on. Okay, this is scary. Okay, so. Okay, no sparks, no flames. Good so far. I should just test, I'll test just this one. I'm so scared. Okay, it's on. Okay, it's off. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that. Okay, it's on. Let's go see if the living room lights work. I don't have anything else on. All the stuff in the refrigerator is melting. There's all sorts of other stuff I want to show you guys. Like my plants. I started the raised beds in the background without you. I just got a cooling fan for my uh, computer because my processor was like at 100C when I tried to render. Okay, this is the test. This is the test. So I wasn't able to make videos is what I'm explaining when I mentioned the processor thing. I, tangents, don't understand. Uh, I was trying to render videos and they were going to 100 Celsius. So I was like, no, can't render videos. So I'm making videos again. I didn't want to make videos if I couldn't render them right away because I'm an instant gratification person. Okay, let's see. Please work. Shit. <gasps> those, those took a long time to come on. Fucking master electrician! Sweet, that was not working before. I probably should have shown you guys so you believed me. Now I've got to turn the other things on. Again, I'm not gonna turn the AC on because I have a feeling that maybe what's causing some of these issues. Um, because when the inspector had him overload on him when he was testing him, that was the only thing that really takes a lot of power is the heat and the the heat and the AC. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything else on. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna turn the whole thing off. Cause I don't want that live while I'm putting the panel back on, which I'm just gonna let you guys uh, watch me do because it's kind of funny and difficult. Um, so get the screws. This thing is, I don't understand why it needs to be a hundred pounds. This thing is so heavy. Where's the screw holes? Right there. Don't go down. Go up. Okay. This is should be this hard. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it on. Kind of, here's, here's the real test of everything else works too. So turn on the main power. Everything sounds fine so far. I should move you guys closer, you probably can't hear me very well. Let me flip the little camera over. Okay, so I'm going to leave the AC off because I, but we don't need it and I may be contributing it because I've seen this one flip off and when he did the inspection nothing was hooked up so if it's overloading it's not because of stuff we have it might be because of this if that's what it is or it's a short circuit but I don't know so let's go ahead and start turning on stuff oh god Whoop. light came on in the garage Okay, on, 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 and on. Fantastic, everything's on but the AC. Okay, and then this is the bad eight, uh, the bad dude. I don't know if there's a fuse in here or something, and that's what causes it to go bad. Okay. Ooh, lights in the house. I should mark this one as bad. I do have another good one in case something else decides to break. I'll put the good one up here. 
So if I'm like, guys, I don't know where I put that breaker. You guys can be like, it's in the laundry room. Okay, so let's come on here. So we're seeing power in here, coldness, coldness in the refrigerator, lights and things and tequila. I've actually had this for a really long time, like a year. I just take a really long time to drink my booze. Strawberries, which I'm gonna have for lunch. This, ooh, that really needs to get thrown away. Okay, so this video was a success. It was how to install a breaker with Centria. Um, there's all sorts of cool stuff I wanna show you guys. Look, I got a compost pail, and there's a compost pile outside, and there's raised beds, and my plants are really big, and I started a whole bunch of other ones. But that will be for another video. Um, so thanks for watching. If you guys liked this do-it-yourself tutorial on how to install a breaker and hopefully not kill yourself, um, be sure to like and leave comments below. Okay, this is Centria signing off.